Hey guys, guys, welcome back to the Jazz Team Podcast. Good morning, Australia. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there's somewhere like the news station that are like, instead of good morning, America, it's good morning, uh, Australia. Sure, there is. Check this out. I already have the audio saved because that is the first <laughs> TikTok that I am making. Um, No, it's, a, it's actually pretty great. Are you ready for this? Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Hold up, hold up. Wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong one. Okay, there yeah, we're never finding these. Okay, just give me, give me, you keep talking, though. I'm going to try to find it. Okay, good morning from Sydney, Australia. We are live bringing you from our hotel room. As you can see in the background, there's uh, lots of traffic, uh, lots of clouds, and today is not the most perfect day if you'd like the sun to be in Sydney, Australia. We're going to be actually heading out in a couple of days. I mean, a couple hours. So uh, we're going to be heading to Brisbane because the sun is is over there. The sun moved. And we're going to be like going to the beaches and stuff like that. Bringing you guys a new vlog on Jadalee. Okay? I found it. All right. I'm n enough with my yapping and covering. Now let's hear what she actually has to say. Wait, wait, wait. Good morning, Australia. It's Monday, February the first time here. Good morning, Australia. <laughs> so cool. It sounds so cool. Waking up to that is so peaceful. I know. Everything here is peaceful. I love the oh people. Oh, my God. The new station is yes. peaceful. Is that crazy? <laughs> um anyway we are here in sydney australia guys this is our second time filming this podcast because we filmed it last night but like we were really orange and like ugly and we thought it'd be better if we gave you a nice and pretty city view we are literally in a hotel straight straight in the city like as you can see we are very much next to cars bridges and uh buildings and it's a very very beautiful place to be we were staying at the w sydney w sydney which literally w sydney it would have been funny if you guys seen like the other podcast and you guys seen this one because like it was getting dark so all the lights reflecting from here would reflect off the mirror right mm -hmm. or off the glass and you could see our dirty hotel room it's embarrassing it was so embarrassing <laughs> i was like okay we're gonna refilm this podcast but we didn't want to be like in a rush today to film a podcast and actually we have a lot of spare time today so not a lot i mean we have to leave to the airport in a few oh, hours probably like an hour and a half yeah we haven't packed up this shithole of a room because <laughs> we are going to be hitting um other cities here actually is it states i think it's states oh it might be states you're right well what sydney's not a state right it's new south wales that's a state yeah nsw is the abbreviation it's new south wales Correct. Yeah. Okay. So where's Brisbane at? I think that's a, I think that's Queensland. And Queensland's a state. Queensland's a state. Yeah. Ah, I think gotcha. I think that's how it is. Some something like please don't quote me on it, but I think it's something like that. Yeah, because like, like some guys like you guys uh, have to visit Queensland. I'm like, all right. You're right. Yeah. So I think it is. So we're gonna be going to the Gold Coast, and we're also gonna be. I wonder if the Gold Coast is a state. We're going to Gold Coast. We're going to Brisbane. And then um, we're coming back to Sydney. So we still have like another four days left here, which is crazy because we're like time traveling because right now for us, it's Saturday for you guys. It's Friday. So happy Friday. <laughs> but um, we're going to be ending up leaving Thursday here, but it's technically Wednesday for us. So it's like just time travel, but it's a really long trip. Like we're going to be here for almost two weeks at the end of it. It's wild, but it's like been the funnest two weeks ever. We've been on the go every single day and Trying new spot. Australia is way different than the U.S. Way, way Everything different. Everything is so different out here, guys. Like, I wish that I could bring every single one of you guys with me because this is such a magical experience. Like, I always, always, always wanted to come to Australia. Like, growing up, I watched Australian shows, and I love them. I just love Australian people. Or the idea of Australian people because I never really met anybody who was Australian. Um, if you're Australian and you're watching this, comment, like, whatever you have to comment, and we'll put your little X at the end. You know what I mean? I didn't even know that till you posted that on your story, and I thought that shit was hilarious. <laughs> it's like you, the U.K. and then Australia. I think other people too, but the X, yeah, the X. Uh, like, didn't like um we used to do like XOXO back in like the fucking Bro, that was long like the, time ago. Uh, yeah, the, the, the before the iPhone days. Before the iPhone days, um, it, it gives me flashbacks of like hags. Oh, you hags. remember that? Hags, I remember <laughs> that. Have a great summer, bro. And that's oh. crazy because that's not even our generation. It's like my sister's generation and them too. Yeah, it's so many. It's people. probably our parents' generation. Have Are a, you? What? Our parents are like pushing 60. That is not their generation. It is, bro. They had yearbooks and they would sign them. They would put hags, though. What would they put? I don't think my parents had a yearbook. Well, my parents were also in Mexico, so it's very <laughs> different. You're, yeah, maybe your parents had yearbooks. But yeah, yeah, like, yeah. My, I think my parents had yearbooks. Um. Anyway, we. I just wish I could bring this because, like, it's literally what you think Australia to be, but better. Like, whatever your expectation for Australia is, like, we've met so many people. Like, so many people have been texting me, like, oh, my gosh, like, Australia is my dream. And, like, same, but it's so much better than what you even imagine. Like, if you think it's good, it's so much better than that. The, it's so much better. And surprisingly, the beaches, 
were warmer than I expected. I know, like, they say Australia has warm beaches and stuff. And then someone on, on Instagram texted me, like, uh, if you could think the, the beaches are warm here, it's not. It's freezing cold. And I guess to, the, to them, this is cold beaches. It would make sense because I think that the Caribbean is really warm. But this is warmer than California because anything, I think, Bro, is warmer California, than California. California. Uh, surfers in California have something different going on for them. We surfed. We surfed. We did. And I actually standed up on the board. You guys will see in Nat's vlog. Jake Slade. Like, you really, really got the <laughs> hang of it fast. Thank I think you. what was holding me back was my fear. Oh, yeah. Because, okay. So, what happened was, like, originally, we're doing, we're doing, we're on the same level. And then all of a sudden, like, uh, like what, an hour in, a big wave comes and catches both of us. Like, the wave dra was pretty much drowning me. But, like. I got up. Nat didn't, on the other hand. Nat was really scared of it. Yeah, I think so. Um, growing up, we didn't go to the beach because my dad was always really scared of the beach because, um, like, he grew up where a lot of kids would drown in the beach and stuff, like, in Mexico. So he's always been kind of, like, really terrified of it. And then also my dad, I think I've mentioned this to you guys, but my dad is, like, a very paranoid person. So, like, anything that has any slight amount of danger in it, he would just, instead of, like, going in um teaching us how to overcome it he would just um tell us not to do it you know to prevent anything bad from happening that's smart it's not the best thing it's a really bad mentality to have because i feel like i have that now too and it, it's <laughs> it's a horrible thing and it's just who you are as a person but um he never wanted to take us to the beach because of that reason right so he always instilled in our brain like the beach is scary which a hundred percent the beach is fucking terrifying i literally it's so bad. Like, it could take you back in a second. So they explained to us how the beach works because I didn't know, like, how it worked. You just think waves, but you don't know why there's waves. Like, there's so many little things to beaches. It's all going to be in my vlog because I recorded her explaining why there's waves and, like, where it could take you back. What did she say it was called? The currents. No. no. <laughs> what? They're not the... What are no, they? No, a reef. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's a reef, right? Maybe. But it's like it's like a, like, like a cave under... A current. Under, under, <laughs> It is a current. Babe, a current is like the, the stream of the river, the current, like uh -huh. that's different. What okay. she was talking, it's a, a certain thing. But A reef current, a reef current, I think. That's, I swear that's what it's called. May, or maybe a reef current, but not a current. Okay. I think a current is like, when, I don't, anyway. I think it's a reef. I'm pretty sure she said that. I don't know. But it's but, pretty much when like the water looks very, very still. It's not really waves crashing. And that's, I guess, the most dangerous part on the beach that yeah, we were at. Yeah, it'll take you back. So anyway, they kind of explained that. All, all to us but like for me i've already been like i'm just scared so when that wave got us and we were stuck in an area like where the we the the waves kept like um crashing it was just bringing us under and under and, and i remember the instructor just being like like you're in the worst spot like you need to run so she was like running towards the other side because she was kind of trying to grab me and in the process she got kind of stuck in there too so she was just telling me to go 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 and um jake i didn't even see you i was too busy I drowning was, i was underwater for like a good four or five seconds dude yeah i was i didn't see you dude. It, i was like scared for my life in my mind i was like damn this is how people drown i thought i was I, I didn't think i was gonna go out but like i was thinking like this is how people do it like it's just like this. You go underwater and you can't breathe. You're trying to wait for the water to come back up. It's so scary, right, or Johnny? Or take you back up, yeah. So, yeah, that was like a whole thing. So, after that, I was so terrified to go back. Because when you surf, you have to go, like, pretty, not super far in, but, like, pretty far in enough to where, like, a wave will push you back out and you can actually surf. And I was just terrified. So, I just stood there for, like, a few, like, maybe, like, ten minutes. I was just like, I'm Yeah, now I was at the shore just waiting, watching us. <laughs> it was just me and another kid doing the, the lessons. Like, Dude, going like, in no one's going to save me. I got to put me first. And I was like, I was so terrified. So because of that, I kind of stopped trying in a sense. And I was just so scared. Towards the end, I started getting a little more confident. But Jacob and the other kid had picked it up so good. Like every time they would go, they would stand every single time. And it's hard. It is hard. It's it's really cool, though, because it's I feel like it's easier in a, it's easier when you know how to snowboard because you're mm -hmm. you're really good with your balance and like skating, too. And but surfing is harder than snowboarding. Yeah, surfing, you're using all your muscles, literally all your muscles. But Not even it does. just that. Remember she said that surfing, I think, is, like, one of the hardest sports? Dude, it is. Yeah. Like, the, the technique and everything. Everything but, about it. But when you fall, I feel like uh, comparing it to snowboarding, when you fall in snowboarding, you're hurting yourself bad. As to right here, it's not hurting as much. You're falling in the water. Oh, no, it hurts. Not as much as snowboarding, though. Snow you're right. Nah. Snowboarding hurts. Dude, I, I fell. Like, I tried to hit a slope uh, trying to snowboard a couple weeks. It's probably a month ago, if anything. Yeah. And I fell on my butt. And to this day, my butt still hurts. And I'm not yeah, going to go to the too. doctor, but my you butt. You must have hurt your tailbone. I, I think I did. I hurt it when I was uh, very young. And then now it's, it's like getting better, but it still hurts. You must have hurt your tailbone. Yeah, if it's still hurting. 
yeah, I think snowboarding does hurt more, but like in general, surfiness has got to be the hardest thing in the entire world. Like if you snowboard and you go surfing, like you have an idea, you have a little bit more of a balance and stuff, but it's not the same because snowboarding, you're like strapped in. It's just different, but it was really, really hard, but it was really fun. And I was salty for the next like three days. Like literally my skin was cracking of salt. Like it dude, the water and the salt water in Australia is like saltier than anything I've ever tried in my life. Yeah. I had a headache from how much salt I took like in yeah. my mouth. I swear it was because of the salt. Yeah. There, I don't know why. Cause I remember our beaches are salty, but not this salty. Dude, this one's too salty. What ocean is this? This is the Australian ocean. What? I don't no, think I'm that's an ocean. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know what, what ocean this is. Probably like the Caribbean Sea or something. I don't think this is the Caribbean. Are you joking? Search it up. Because we have what? The Pacific? The Pacific? No, this has to be like an Indian Ocean or something. It might be the Indian Ocean. Or okay. oh, it might because we're close to Asia. Uh, We are in the Tasman Sea. What the fuck no, is that's that? Not, that's not like, it has to be an ocean. What's no, the ocean? No, it is. The Tasman Sea. But oh, the Indian. Wait, no. Where is it? Where is it? All right, buddy. Uh, we are in the Tasman Sea. <laughs> All right, we come to a conclusion we're in the Tasman Sea. <laughs> yeah, because it, it doesn't, like, there's a sea. I know what you're saying. Like, it, there has to be an ocean, but um, I think it's just the Tasman Sea. <laughs> it should be called the Salty Sea. That's what it should be called, not the Tasman Sea. Yeah, I don't know what ocean this is, babe. It might just be, like, some, it, it could be the Indian Ocean. A cup, of, a cup of this Australian ocean water has enough salt in it to feed the whole world. I swear. Okay, so it's a mix between the South Pacific Ocean and the Indian Ocean. So it's like the we're like in the bottom area of that. Mm, got you. Okay. Damn. So, hey, did you know we're close to Antarctica? No, we're not. What? Yeah, we are. <gasps> Look it. We could go to Antarctica if we wanted to, but we're not. Why I'm is that? Just saying. Why is that? Like we're so close to Antarctica and it's pretty hot here, but Antarctica is like the ice, right? Well, I don't know. It's literally, it tell me why the fuck it's um, winter where we're at in the U.S. <laughs> and it's summer here. I just don't know how this works. Wait. Because doesn't the sun like go like all around? I don't know, dude. <laughs> I really didn't pay attention. You know, we're so close to New Zealand and I'm so sad we're not going to New Zealand because I feel like New Zealand is also going to be a super cool place, but there's just not enough time anymore. And it just sucks because next time we want to go to New Zealand, we're going to have to come back here which is a 14 hour flight and then fly to New Zealand it's gonna be a whole other trip that we're gonna have to take yeah I'm not getting homesick but I'm like I'm missing like the home feeling oh I'm maybe, not maybe being with my dogs I think if we had our dogs here it'd be like we'd be set yeah I miss my babies but other than that like I could stay here for another month really yeah I'm not I'm not feeling like I want to go home dang normally I start feeling like that like on day three you know what I'm I feeling I am feeling a little tired though because the past what three days how long have I been here four the four past days. the past four days we've been like working nonstop like grinding out videos for Nat's channel and then uh, we filmed the podcast yesterday dude it's not even gonna go up so don't even ask but that podcast <laughs> we filmed for like an hour and it was like an hour and twenty minutes and it's nothing's gonna go up and I was like Nat I'm tired do you think we should do this tomorrow and then we were like eh, we should just do it today uh t last night to get it over with but we we're not even doing it. we didn't end up doing it but honestly it's fine because this is gonna be more real time for oh them. yeah heck yeah and then also the better view. Dude, I swear, yesterday's podcast, we were orange. We Like I said yeah. in the beginning, we said in the beginning, but we were orange. It was yeah, horrible. Yeah, it was just not, it was not the good. Also, okay, Miss Dumb and Fucking Dumber over here, I didn't know there was a different outlet. So <laughs> we freaking show up to the hotel and I'm like, Jake, plug in because my phone is at like 10%. My laptop's at zero. Like, I'm like, pl plug it in. And he just like starts laughing in. And in that moment, I knew. I knew we fucked up. I <laughs> Dude, I didn't think, I, well, I knew, I knew other places had different outlets. And, um, I don't think Australia though. Yeah, that's why when we got our drone from the, the DJI drone, we got it and it has like 20 of the same plugs, but every outlet's different. Like the outlet thing is looks like a screen face here. And I didn't even think, bro, I literally took the outlet that was for this out the day before our trip. Like I was like, I took this on so many trips, we don't need it. So I threw it out and then we, we ended up needing it. I don't know why I thought Australia was more like us than it is. Like I didn't know they drove on the other side of the road. I didn't know that they have different outlets like i didn't know they had different currencies like <laughs> i didn't know any of this seeing different cash from different places is crazy because everything's different like yeah. the u.s is just paper mexico it has like a little bit of plastic in it canada has a little bit of plastic in it they have they have their plastic, plastic in it it's crazy you're right and then they, their money is more durable like yeah, it's all plasticky. It's like you can't really rip it. It's like you you try to rip it and it stretches a little bit before it rips. You're right. I wonder why the US does that shit. I don't know. Because imagine how much money like rips and just gets lost every day because it's so fragile. Well, I know the money in Mexico, I don't know if it still does, but like if you washed it, it, it fades away. Like the paint on it. Yeah. 
I'm sure that happens to ours too, no? Mm-mm. Nah, it just gets like wet and it, it rips easily, but it doesn't fade away. Oh. Huh. <laughs> that's wild. Yeah, that's interesting. But yeah, I didn't know that there were so many differences between here and the U.S. All positive, by the way. Everything is positive here. Like literally every difference from here to the U.S. is a positive difference. Like it's not something that I'm like, mm, I wish we had. No. <laughs> we tried a Kit Kat the other day. It tastes so different oh, here bro kit kat in u.s is crunchy like you bite it it's like biting like an oreo okay it has like a little cookie the wafers are really yeah. big but here it's like more chocolate than the wafer it tastes like peanut butter a little oh okay buddy i wouldn't have made it if it tastes like peanut butter. yeah a little no, bit of didn't. peanuts you yeah so? i swear maybe it tastes different but you know what i don't give a shit i'm gonna eat it because if they have it here differently it's because it's most likely healthier for you because the u.s doesn't care about you <laughs> but you know there's also i haven't checked if they're like what about chips do we have do they have the same chips? As oh those? yeah, oh yeah. So down there, literally wherever we were, the other uh, the other place, walking like by the by the harbor, there's munchies, and I was so tempted to get them. Oh, so we have, have the same chips? They have a lot of the same chips here, unless it was just because it's like a tourist store, maybe. But there was munchies. Oh, we should try the chips because they might be like different ingredients. Because you know how like Mexico Coke is different than U.S. Coke and stuff like that. Coca -Cola. The, dude, the Coke the Coke I had yesterday was fizzy and bubbly. You're right. That did taste a little different. It tasted a little different, but I'm sure Coke's not gonna give a fucking like make it different for U.S. and make it different for here. Coke's no, it's because there's different things that are allowed in different countries. Oh, that's maybe why then. it's different. But yeah, our my Coke was bubbly. It was like, it was like drinking the top of the Coke the entire time. Okay, here let's start a segment where we talk about things that are very different and things that took you back from Australia versus the U.S. Okay. All right. First things first. I I'll go first. I'll go first. All right, okay. ready? Well, I hope it's not mine. It is yours. <laughs> Driving on the wrong side of the road. Oh, no, it wasn't that one. Oh, but okay. yeah, that's really trippy. Or or it's not the wrong side. Technically, it's the correct side. But that, like, the steering wheel being on the right side of the car and driving on the left is crazy. Tell me why I saw freaking G-Wagon with the other side steering wheel and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? That's correct. Because G-Wagons are from Germany and Germany drives also on the same side oh, as so they do. Oh, so we're the, we're the, we're the dumb ones, ones bruh. All right, that makes more sense. <laughs> Okay, something that took me by surprise. They don't have lemonade out here. It's Sprite. I asked for a lemonade, and I thought it was the best lemonade in my life. Like, I was like, <laughs> nah, this lemonade is life-changing. Comes to find out, it's freaking Sprite. <laughs> it's all a mental thing, dude. It's definitely all in your fucking head. Because, like, it was good until we knew it was Sprite. But the Sprite looks better. It tasted better than other Sprites. Yeah, I didn't know. So, like, and then our tour guide yesterday was like, oh, by the way, don't order a lemonade because it's just Sprite. And I was like, oh, that makes they put, sense. They put Sprite with ice and they put a lemon on top. And I was like, oh, let me squeeze this in there. Yeah, you would actually think that it's lemonade, but it's really not. I wonder why. How did they get, like, Sprite and lemonade? I don't fucking know. Maybe because it's lemon soda. You know, Sprite is lemon soda. Yeah, I know, but that's not, nah, that's different. Yeah, okay. So what's lemonade? What, what do they make? Do they never have lemonade? Have they, they never tried? They don't have lemonade. You, you know, they also don't say the eggs are over hard. I said that today. The lady looked at me like. <laughs> they say well done. They say well done. But I didn't know that because when you go to the freaking, when you're in the U.S., how would you like your eggs? Over easy, over hard. It's and even, so, it's actually, it's easier here to say well done. It is so much easier. <laughs> I, it took me forever to understand what over hard, over easy meant. There's like sunny side up, over easy, over hard, oh, over yeah, medium, all that stuff. Oh, yeah, be fucking for real. Team Australia. Like, well done, <laughs> runny, like, call it a day. We're about to play lawn ball now. That What is that? <laughs> lawn ball, that's the sport where he said that when you get too old and you're not athletic, that's where the alcoholics go and play. Like, they play is lawn ball. Is that what the tour guy told us? <laughs> that tour guy was really cool. He told us so much information about Australia that I'm really excited to show you guys in the vlog because that he was a good He a was good a good tour guide. guide. Yeah, Shout out seven. Luke. Oh, his name was Luke? Yeah, his name was Luke. Of course his name was Luke. Okay, another thing. Um... The way they pronounce their words, like their accent's crazy. When they say water. River. River. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the river. Okay, after we pass the river. <laughs> That's what he was saying. Oh my gosh, you're right. And then this morning, the girl who said, uh, let me bring you some water. I was like. <laughs> it's cool. Like We're not I hating at all. I love it. this Australian I accent. I love it. I want it to stick. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, um. They but, don't say mm. And it, like, like the TikTok trends in the US were like, everyone was saying nar. Like, that's true. That's, that's true. How they yeah. <laughs> or do you remember, um, like, like nor too? Like, I heard some nar, people say nor. nor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're saying it wrong, but like some variation of that. Like, things like that are so crazy. Or like, because I grew up watching Australian shows, like, I would always hear these words, but like, it's a show, so it's different. But, like, but when you see it in person, <laughs> yeah, when you see it in person, it's like, oh, I love them. I, I love everyone I feel here. bad because I'm staring at everyone talk because it's too. so interesting to me. And I'm like, 
And if they look back, they're probably going to be like, what's this weirdo doing? But yeah, it's so cool. It's fascinating. I love it. Like, their English is beautiful. Another thing is, like, um, our Uber drivers, like, when they're speaking, it's just so interesting to me. I asked one of our Uber drivers, I was like, do we sound, like, weird to you? And he was like, of course. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. He was like, yeah, like, the same way I sound weird to you, like, you sound weird to me. Like, you sound foreign not, to me. Not weird. It's different. Different. I, no, he said weird. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> he was a piece of shit, but he's so funny. Dude, that guy was hilarious. <laughs> so, yeah, we had, we had a fight. Like, as soon as we got to that Uber, uh, we're like, Uber for Natalie? He's like, no. And then he's like, I'm just going to get in. And then That's how we knew. We knew we could mess around this whole, uh, the whole drive. It was a long drive. Um, and I was like, why is the steering wheel on the wrong side of the road? And he's like, actually, it's on the correct side of the road. Let's start there. <laughs> Let's start there. That show was so <laughs> funny, dude. He was a hilarious guy. Like The people here are amazing. Yeah, everyone's so nice. Everyone's so willing to have a conversation with you. Like, it's not very much like go, 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 which actually Sydney is their go, go, go city, which is crazy because I can't imagine how their other cities are. Um, They're like probably slower paced, probably like more of us paced. Yeah, I, I agree. But it's crazy because they think this is their fastest paced city, but everybody's willing to have a conversation with you. Mm -hmm. Everyone is willing to have a conversation. And it's so crazy to me. We went to the um, went to Manly Beach like two days ago and they were having like a like this group of people it was like teenagers slash like there was a little bit of older people came together and did like a barbecue on the beach right and everyone was just having a good time they had music and it, it was just so crazy to see because this was what like a wednesday afternoon and they're just literally chilling having fun like it, and it was just like the community everyone's like running everyone's fit dude every guy on this harbor running is buff like i swear they're shitting on americans i get why they call americans fat now i oh me like, i feel too. horrible bro I'm, i look i'm like damn dude if i did not have bbl i would not go outside dude these girls are abs toned their muscles they're like they are just fit they're running they're in their little lulu just like sweating drenched like just active people and i it, look active too because i got abs but like man-made you and know and if these they're girls, not like fit they're actually getting fit like you, you see people like that are actually trying to get their body good in good shape especially now that i think about it you know what it might be it's probably because it's summer you know when everyone has like the perfect body in the summer i don't think america is like that jake i don't think people have the perfect body in summer and I, I feel like i have the worst body in the summer I'm yeah like, it's when you eat the most <laughs> you're out you're no but fun, like people prepare drinking. themselves like all year for the perfect body babe i don't know because even today that it's been like raining people are still out running so it's, it's like yeah it is a healthy super healthy city i guess yeah people are just but so active it's crazy because like you're from another country you visit the u.s and you're like okay i'm gonna see american people how the american people actually are okay you run into a lot of american people in the u.s like hispanic people as well um maybe like other people from other countries but australia i was like all right i'm gonna go to australia and meet australian people like i'm gonna meet the people that are like are super super tanned orange they, they go catch lobsters all the time and stuff like that that's what i thought like steve Irwin vibe right mm -hmm. tell me why i was bamboozled this country is like a mix of everything it's like u.s how uh, a lot of like people from mexico maybe canada uh south america come and visit uh, the u.s and stay there that's the same thing here, but with, like, Europeans, with Asians, Asian and I was people. bamboozled. I had no clue. I had no idea that Australia was so diverse. It's so diverse. Like, it is truly probably way more diverse than California. 100%. Because California, all you see is, like, some sort of South America. Is it South America? Yeah. South America. No, no, no. It's like, oh, yeah, it's South America. South, South America, America, right? Like, all, all mm -hmm. the, yeah. Them and then just us. Dude, here, we've met people from, like, France, right? Yeah, it's not France, France, it's France. Spain, France, Thailand, like Spain. So many people are from Spain here. So many Asian people here from all over. Like we, um, the guy who was surfing with us was from Korea. Like, oh yeah, there's just everywhere. Like there is so many. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of Indian people here too. Like I think most of the uh, our Uber drivers have been Indian too. Yeah, there was a lot of Indian people here. I was like. How the, and now that I think about it, we're not geo, what is it, geography, geographically smart. We're because not. Australia is closer to like all these countries where we're bamboozled where the people are from rather than like the US. The US is so far from here. It would make sense. It, dude, it made sense when I looked at the map, but I'm like, I never even thought of this. I would have never imagined. I was thinking everyone's going to be like catching lobsters, from, I swear. From um, like a, uh, from Lebanon? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of Lebanese uh, people here. Yeah, a lot. Like, there's so many restaurants, too. Like, Would you say that a Lebanese restaurant, too, right now? Or oh, yeah, Lebanese, that's what Lebanese, we Lebanese owned. 
Yes. It's so freaking crazy. Like, I would have had no clue. Like, until you come and you're like, everyone is so different. And they all have an Australian accent. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so like... uh so you hear someone from India in the United States speaking like with their Indian accent, right? Or you speak hear someone from the United States with the, that's Mexican and you hear them have like their his, like their Mexican accent. Yeah. In here, like there's an Indian, but they have an Australian yeah. accent, and I'm like, that's crazy. It's, it's like so a double cool. accent. It's so weird. Like, um, our people, our surf instructors, they are from Spain, right? So they had a Spanish Australian, Australian English accent. accent. Yeah. I was confused. I was like, and he didn't even know. Like, he's been here for maybe, I don't know how long they've been they've here. They've only been here for a year, I think. And he had an Australian accent. I'm like, what the? It's the craziest thing. Like, they'll have, like, two accents blended. I don't know how to explain it, but it's really, really interesting to hear it. Like, you don't, you just don't imagine it. Like, you're either thinking, I don't know, because for us, it's not our norm, you know? Be maybe because we don't think we have an accent, but, like, to them, maybe if they go over there, they're like, wait, they have a double yeah, accent? Yeah, I just I just feel like a lot of Americans, their minds are, like, very closed-minded and not open to, like, Yeah, I think we're the only people in, in the yeah. world. Yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. I it's love it. It's crazy. I freaking love it here. Like, there's just, there's so much to love about this place. Like, truly, like, there's everything to love about it. Like, the... The cleanliness of the city for fucking one. Sydney, like, it's crazy because our Uber drivers were telling us, like, we could, Sydney could do so much better. Like, it could be so much cleaner. And I'm like, babe, what? Visit you LA. don't got a clue in the world. <laughs> like, this is clean and beautiful and just, like, such an amazing city. Look at how I clean keep looking, it is. I keep looking back and seeing how nice the city is. It's really, really beautiful. Look at really the freeways. Beautiful. No, no, um rubbish oh yeah no there's rubbish no rubbish anywhere <laughs> like it's so clean obviously it's a major city so there's gonna be some sort of like dirtiness and stuff but it's like one percent of what we have in la like one percent like you know you're walking the streets of la it stinks it's so bad and here it's just so like i was walking around a freaking bathing suit around the city yesterday it, granted i had a cover-up on but like you don't feel no one like you don't you don't you're not scared for your life pretty much I feel like it's it's very very uh common here. That's another thing. It's summer. Oh, I mean, if it's winter, maybe that would be different. But it's summer. Uh, everyone's like fit. Everyone's wearing that stuff all the time. So maybe it's more common, huh? Yes, that and also like. Or even I feel like even if it's in summer in, in like Los Angeles beaches, you're gonna get stared at. Like it's the worst. Exact. Yes. 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 And you're just gonna be fearful for your life. Correct. And I feel like another thing is, everyone is so beautiful here. That's going to come off wrong, but there's no, so, no, I swear they're like next level. Like the, you, you're not getting stared at because there's everyone else around you is also beautiful. Like the, it's just, I don't know how to explain. Like they are just like, if you've been to Australian angelic. or you're Australian, you know, like, well, it, it makes sense because people, I feel like European people are, are like the top of the top. Right. And I guess they colonized the Australia people. I mean the Australia land, but so think, coming from those descends, obviously they're going to be top tier people. I, no, they're just like the way they carry themselves. That too. Like everyone is so just like. The style here is nice. Friendly and like fit and just, you know, they, they always have a smile on their face. It, it's so it's like everyone is just so beautiful. It's not even just looks. It's mm -mm. just the way they carry themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you don't see anyone with a shit fucking face. Uh, you don't. And that's what makes someone really ugly. It's when they, like, have a shit face. It, that's, it's just the way. Yeah, that was another, like, wow moment when we were going. Okay, when we travel back home to LAX, uh, the airport, we, like, we get out of the, the what's it called? Like, the terminals and stuff. But everyone's in a, ma in a bad mood. Everyone's trying to get out of here already. <laughs> like, people are upset. But when we landed at the Sydney airport, Everyone's smiling, laughing, talking. There's like news stations outside. Everyone's having a good conversation, and just the vibes are so different. The moment we stepped out of the airport, I was like, "Oh yeah, even this in, is about to be the best trip." Even in the, the world. TSA inside the Australian airport was beautiful. Like, dude, they were giving us the best, uh, the best attitudes, like welcoming mm -hmm. us. I'm like, damn, I'm about to stay. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's so crazy because you go to freaking LAX. They're going to grab your bag, throw that shit in your face. Let you forget something in your pocket or, like, anything. They're going to scream at you. Have you seen those, like, memes of the TSA? where it's, Put your sweatshirt and, in the whatever. Yeah, and they're screaming. Yeah, it's crazy. Maybe they're just more patient here, too. That could probably be it. Probably. I don't know what it is, but, yeah, everyone's just having a good time here. Everyone, like, loves their life. Everybody hates America here. That's another thing. No, they don't. Yes, they do. They just everyone, sit on it, but I don't think they hate it. They just don't think that it's, like, worth it, I think. 
Me, like nah, the me. prices, me either, <laughs> neither. But it's crazy because like one of our Uber drivers was like, um, he asked us where we were from, and we're like, oh, we're from LA. He's like, it's okay, nobody's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> he's dumb. It's crazy because he's like, yeah, he's been to like a lot of places in LA, and he he hates every single part of it. Granted, you come from this and you go over there, it's like you're not gonna like it. Mm. You know, it's we had not. We had a couple bad, uh, bad like what's got it? What are they called? Bad um. Almost did he say? <laughs> what, what are we talking about? Like when you do something and it's like a bad, a bad interaction, a bad interaction, whatever. Um, we went to a restaurant, right? And we thought it was gonna be like a buffet, buffet style. It's in our, it's in our hotel. Oh my god! Or dinner. Are we talking about the food now? Yes, the food. Oh, we don't love the food. <laughs> Some food, it's like a hit or miss with the food. Yeah. Most of it's good, but it's just different. The food right here we had yesterday night was uh dinner, and I thought it was gonna be buffet style. So I go in. I don't. I'm not even dressed nice. I have. I'm getting ready to like devour everything that they have. Tell me why we get seated at a nice table. It's decorated very, very nicely. It was bougie. Yeah. Bougie. And they hand us the menu. And it's like, you know the menus that you can't even read? Like, no matter what language it is, what the heck does this word mean? It's like a name of a cheese. And I'm like, holy. Stress. Sh- dude, like, Stress. what do I pick? What do I pick? What do I pick? And then you see, like, a chicken. And then at the end of the chicken, it says, like, with, uh, like, caviar, I guess. And I'm like, I've never tried caviar. I'm not going to get the caviar. I'm not going to get this chicken and at all. Just weird and they don't, combinations. They yeah. don't have, like, just chicken strips. They have, like, bro, we had to settle for a kangaroo sandwich. That's what we had to settle for because it had a hash brown at the bottom. And that's what we knew we would like. We ate kangaroo and we feel so bad, dude. dude <laughs> honestly, like, and, and, okay, all this aside, we paid, like, 130 bucks for... Let this be a, a le- cod. Let this be a lesson for you to not eat something when you can't even read what it is. All right. Let it be well, a lesson. Well, they had like three things on the menu, babe. They, yeah. So like uh-huh. we didn't have many options and it's rude to just up and leave at that point. Like you're already sitting down, call it a day, just get, get something. But it was horrible. And like, dude, we went to this other spot that was in Bondi Beach and it's supposed to be like super bougie. Dude, as soon as I didn't even order anything. Jake, we got fries and we ate fries because <laughs> it was just like... Yeah, I don't know. Wait, I don't wait. even know what that restaurant was. Wait, remind me of the Bondi Beach when I forgot again. Babe. What's the Bondi Beach Remember one? we sat down and we ordered lemonade, which was Sprite, and then I got <laughs> fries because I didn't want anything else, and then you ordered, um, what did you order? What did I, I don't remember. I'm, I'm, I'm mind, mind blown. You ordered something, but I don't know what it was. I don't think you loved it because I don't think you finished it. At Bondi Beach? At Bondi Beach. Oh, uh, well, I love Bondi Beach though, but. I can't no, remember. No, yeah, yeah, we went to this other spot. Oh, my gosh. We went to this spot. You guys have to go. It's called Preach Cafe, and they have these banana pancakes that I'm never going to move on from them. They're topped with coconut ice cream on top, and they are the best thing. Like, I literally, we're going to go there one more time before we leave because I was like, I literally just stood into the air, just couldn't believe my existence when I'm, I tried those. I'm not the biggest fan of bananas either, and those pancakes were really good. They, they were, popped off. They, they, were, they weren't just that good, but they were, like, unreal. They were, they were so Good. And they're not like pancakes in the U.S. Like I, don't, I don't think they make them like that over here. No. They're where they're skinny and like long. They're like chunky. They circles. look like they look like biscuits, but with like a soft top biscuit. Like I don't know how to explain. It. It's like a a biscuit that's round, but it, it also looks like a how do you how do you explain that shape? Oh, I'll explain it. Do you have you guys ever been to um what are those cookies called? Oh, uh, BJ's Cookie Plug. No, <laughs> oh, shoot. Cookie Plug. Okay. Have you guys been to Cookie Plug? Hey, you've been to Cookie Plug. Mm-hmm. You know the the circles and they're like thick. That's how their the pancakes looked, but they were so Yeah, they're very thick. <gasps> they're called the lotus pancakes. Oh my gosh, they're so Dude, Nat, I'm dream I'm daydreaming with them. Now was obsessed with that. Dude, they were She never eats all of her food, but she ate all of the pancakes and there was three big ones. Dude, oh my <laughs> Gosh, I wish I could explain to you guys how delicious they were. But yeah, that place is really good. But for like dinner, I feel like we've struggled to find good food, which kind of sucks because I feel like we haven't really ate dinner and we've loved it. I think we've been hungry every night, but disappointed in trying dinner every time because we don't like what we get. Fuck. We, I think because we're just going to the wrong spot. We also don't want to try like just p- normal food. Like we don't want to try Mexican food. We don't want to try American food where we know we'll like sati- be satisfied with it. Yeah, like, like not our norm. Like we wanted to try it. Yeah. Yeah, we wanted to try Australian food. Which Comes to find exist. out it doesn't <laughs> exist. It's like all the di- all the other countries uh come to Australia and make their food here. That's all it is. I'm like, damn it. That's what our tour guide told us. He was mm-hmm. like, Australian food, that's not such thing. Like you just, Australian food is basically our, our produce. So like any food made with our produce, that's Australian food. And I was like, oh, I don't know why. I, <laughs> I should have known food. this. <laughs> I should have known. Yeah, I should. Like, I don't know why I thought it was like 
kangaroo for dinner and like Vegemite for breakfast. That's what I thought. Like the day, the, the beautiful uh, Australia, it's like, it's perfect, right? And then when it comes to dinner time, what do y'all eat? What do y'all eat? Please tell, tell me us. because we are struggling. We can't find good food at all. We will be here for a couple more days too. So we will have time to read the comments and actually try the stuff that you guys are going to be commenting. Yeah, let us know good spots in Brisbane and the Gold Coast and in Sydney because we'll be back for a little bit. But yeah, we need we need some suggestions, babes, because we are struggling and we're paying so much money for food that we literally don't even like. <laughs> we got so sick yesterday, dude. Me and Jake both blew up the toilet. Like it oh, was so my. bad. That's another reason why the podcast didn't go up because we were in the bathroom for like 30 minutes each. And we're like, dude, you have to hurry because the, the sun's going down back here. It was a beautiful view. Dude, way better than this. So, oh my. And then by the time we come out, we're all orange and gray. Dude, it was just so bad. Our stomachs didn't feel good. Like we, we had some severe issues going on there. But um, anyway, moving on, moving on to the next topic. We, where are you going, no, bud? No, no, I'm getting water. Oh, I thought you had to go to the bathroom. I was going to say very on point, very on brand. <laughs> no. um, yeah. Anyway, we've been having such a good time. You guys like it, it has just been such a fun, fun time. And this is literally just like the better America. Okay. This is just like the better America. And it, it's crazy that these places exist. And I really want to travel more now because Honestly, I don't think it gets better than this. I really want to go to Canada, though, because I feel like Canada's going to be a very beautiful country, too. Oh, yeah, dude. I, oh, so we met a guy, and um, he said that he wouldn't really go to Canada because he's he lived in Washington. And I guess they're so close to each other, but there's other parts of Canada. But I we like love Washington, so we would love Canada. Mm -hmm. this I, dude, is I like, want to go to Canada so bad. Dude, they, I feel like Australia is giving a little bit of Washington in certain areas. Like, Washington is just a beautiful state. I think when it comes to, like, the United States, I think Washington's going to be the nicest. Ah, we haven't been to Oregon debatable. or Montana, so I don't know. Debatable. Why? I love Vermont. Yes. Vermont's but the very issue, slow. But the issue, that's what I was going to say. The, the issue with Vermont was just that it's more, uh, way slower than Washington. Washington has, like, it's like a faster nature <laughs> You're place. right, you're right. You know it's, what I mean? Uh -huh. But Vermont was beautiful. Vermont, Massachusetts, they were all beautiful, but I'm saying I think... Washington was like just peak, like it was just the best. Well, actually, we'll let you know once we visit Montana and Oregon, then we'll let you know because I feel like those two states are very beautiful states too. We have to do something in the states that like is unbeatable and compares to Sydney. I don't know. This is beautiful. I don't know if this any. I feel like we've this. traveled more out of the world than more more in in our own state. No, we've been to a few states. Let's see. We've been to California, Nevada, Arizona, Arizona Florida, Florida, but Texas. Not, not really Florida. We were there for like a pit stop, so I don't think Florida counts. Nah, we were there for a day, and it was enough for me to not like the weather. <laughs> Vermont, Massachusetts, Massachusetts. <laughs> Fuck you, Jake. <laughs> Stop, please. It's Massachusetts. Okay, continuing. Are those all the states? No, I've sort of been to one more. Um, That's probably all of them. <gasps> Wait, we really haven't been to that many. Uh -uh. Now that I think about it. I'm telling you, we've been all, we've been to Aruba. We've been to Mexico. Uh, we've no, been to buddy, Sydney. We're about I've to also Brisbane. been to Wyoming. <laughs> okay, bro. I have. I went to the biggest place in Wyoming. That was all there was. Did Wyoming you, was cool, but it did was you just, see the you see the homie Jeffree Star? No, so he lives in like the uh, other section of Wyoming. but um, I feel like he would be a cool friend to have. Jeffree Star? Uh-huh. He'd be like, I feel like he gives me vibes of Australian people. You like, think so? Like a funny sense of humor and just like, he'll, he'll like tease you You know who he gives me vibes of? Who? The guys at the beach, or, I mean at the, the pool yesterday night. Oh! That's exactly <laughs> what he gives me vibes of. It's because, okay, so yesterday we were at the pool. We were, we were having uh, a couple of drinks, but we didn't know what to, what we wanted. We seen everyone had like a little small, it was a little small cute Patron bottle, but it was like a mixed drink. And then there was two guys. They were they were um, uh, a couple, right? So there are two guys over there, and the waiter comes up to us, and then we're like asking like, "What does he recommend?" And uh, I was like, I pointed at the people in the pool, and they're like, "They have a cool drink," and I'm like, "Can we get that?" And he's like, uh, "Yeah, that one's good. What's it called?" And then uh, now but they were staring at us, so I was like, "I don't want them to think we're like talking about them." So I was like, "Oh, no, we're no, asking about your drink." No, 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 no. I'm talking about the people in the pool, and then I'm like, oh. and then I'm like, "Hold up, what do they have over there?" And they, yeah, they see us pointing at them. The couple see us pointing at them, and they're like. Like, I swear, they're about to fight us. And then we're like, no, 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 we're asking about your drink. And they're like, oh, they yeah, all get happy and they, they were so happy. And then, <laughs> and then we got the wrong drink. So then. I slurp it. I'm like drinking. I'm like, it's a, it's a red drink, right? We ordered the yellow drink. And I'm slurping it. And it's really good. I'm like, but it's not what I ordered. So I leave it right there. And the guy comes with the, our bottle, giving it to someone else. And he's like, no, no, no. He's giving it to the couple. And he's like, no, 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 we didn't order it. And he brings it to us. And he's like, oh, yeah, that one. Uh, I was telling him that one's ours. Yeah, we got the wrong bottle the first time. And then uh, we're like. 
wait, but we drank from this one, so don't give it to anybody. And they're like, we'll take it. That shit was <laughs> yeah, so they're funny. Hilarious. They were funny. They were having a good time. Um, but yeah, I feel like that's that's kind of the vibe that he gives uh -huh. me. But no, yeah, I think we've been to like I think a good amount of states. And um, as of all of the ones we've been to, I Washington is on top for sure. Oh, we forgot Colorado. We've been to Colorado too. Colorado and Washington are up there, but I think Washington is a little faster paced. For us. No, Washington is just more nature. I feel like Colorado's a little more flat. Dude, tell me why I always... Okay, so we have the Vision Pro, right? Tell me why, as soon as I put it on, like, one of the images that pops up is, like, the dream place to go. Guess where it's at? Joshua Tree. Oh, my. No. Many. I'm trying to think of what's on the Vision Pros. Think of a beach with trees. The place from Twilight. That place from Twilight, remember, where they're fighting? Yeah. That place. It was on the Vision Pro. Where Pros. is that? It's in Oregon. I mean, in Washington. Of course it is. Because Washington is the best state. Washington's the best. Of course it is, dude. <laughs> I fucking love Washington so much. That place is just like... I think everywhere we're traveling, we're just trying to see, like, where is where is our next our next stop? Where, yeah, where's our next pit stop? Because where, I feel like we can't call the place home because we always want to be out of out and about. I really hope I never get to say this is my forever home. Um that sounds like something I don't want for my future. I want something where it's like, this is my home for the next two years and we will keep moving forward. Yeah, that's like the goal you, you know? have to have. Because I feel like, um, you know, the, the typical American dream is to get a house and like live there forever, right? Which totally makes sense. And a lot of people want to live there. And that totally, you know, everybody has Me being one life. of them. Me being one of them. Like, I, we're not talking bad about them. I was literally one of those people. Like, I would, any little, any little house, any small house, I don't care. It didn't matter the size. As long as it was a house, it would have been home for me. No, I'm saying home for the rest of your life. It would have been home for me yeah, and for the, the rest of my life. life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I feel I have, that's never been me. I've always wanted to just move around all the time. And it's not that I don't want to call somewhere home. Like, like I want to have a home. Like, I would love to call a home. Like, I want somewhere that I can call home. But not like, oh, this is where I'm going to die at. You know, that sounds not. It's just like, oh, this is a nice home and this is where I'll be for the next five years. But because, like, I want another home, you know? Because truthfully, every place has a, like pros and cons. And then the cons eventually get up to you and you're like, Okay, there's a reason why I have to move out. Yeah, and honestly, like, you could build your dream home, but it's still, like, it's, like, let's go to a different state or a different country. Like, there's always just so much more to explore, and I think I would love to just keep moving. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I don't want to stay in one spot. But there's obviously people that don't want to live that life, and it totally makes sense. I, again, I feel like we say this every podcast, but not everybody has the same path. Mm -mm. Not everybody has the same path, and everyone has you know different ideas. Like there's people who like van life, like people that are always on the go, and like that. I don't think I could fully do that, but I think people who do that are so cool. I, I look up to them. I look up to them too. Yeah, dude, van life people are like they're courageous. They're, yeah, they're always on the go. They're always exploring. Like it's it's giving very much. You're very adventurous, <laughs> and I love it. I love that for them, but. I, you know, I never really thought, no, actually, yeah, I, part of me, I guess, would always be like, maybe one day we'll move out of the country. Uh, but it's not very simple. Well, yeah, you have to get res. It's a whole thing. But I feel like part of me was always like, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. But I think, like, the older we're getting, I'm just like, yeah, maybe we will leave for a few years. There's so many, like, I, I really, we want to go to Spain this spring. Oh, and I heard people, like, from Spain, they're from Spain, they come here, whatever. But they say Spain's like the best. Like Dude, that's the everyone best we've place met, ever. Yeah, keep saying Spain is just Spain. Our is on editor top, for our couple's top. channel tells us like we have to visit Spain. Yeah, so we want to go during this spring. We want to visit Spain. I feel like it's gonna be such a fun trip. And again, just exploring and seeing like where's gonna be our next pit stop. Like where do you guys see us? <laughs> Watch Spain be like it's not Spain. It's, there's not Spanish people. It's everyone except like Spanish people. <laughs> I don't think so. No, I'm not. It's, it's definitely not gonna be. I, hope. I don't think so. I I'll, hope it's not because bro. Everyone is like everyone's telling us like we have to go to europe oh my goodness but i don't think i don't think the european people are much fans of americans i don't think so and that's the reason why i don't think i have a very very big dream of going to europe <laughs> <laughs> i heard french people are very very like rude to american people it would make sense dude Which everyone it make, hates yeah, america it, it does make sense Me too, because and I'm american. bro like our past is crazy america they're dirty they're the worst people they're <laughs> like the worst people like they're just they don't care about anyone but money it makes sense why everybody hates them. Yeah, it's not fair. There's like the laws that aren't fair. Everything about it, it, it just makes sense. But I think a place where I would love to go to, wait, this is actually America. I would really, really, really want to go to Alaska. 
Oh my goodness. Alaska, Canada. Okay, okay. Speaking about that, the United States should not own Alaska. Okay, we're not getting into this. <laughs> We've spoken about the shit. Yeah. That's up there with Russia. How the hell did we get it? <laughs> I don't know enough history for this, so we're not speaking about that. But yeah, um, Alaska. Alaska sounds great. I really want to go to Greece. Is Greece in Europe? Um, I believe Greece is in Europe. It is? I think so. I don't even know where Greece is, but I always see the pictures on um, Instagram, so that's why I'm like, I want to go to Greece. That's crazy because I told you ever since we met, that was my dream place. And like really? it was Greece, Australia, and then maybe like Alaska or something, Hawaii, whatever. But it was Greece. And I told you, and you're like, no, I don't want to go to Greece. All of a sudden, look okay, at you. Okay, now I'm, I'm a new and evolved woman. I'm a better person. Period. I go the to- boyfriend effect in effect. <laughs> I want to go to Greece now. <laughs> that sounds fun. I really want to go to Switzerland. That's, I think that'll be for sure. Like our, th- between now to our third trip, that'll be, it'll be Switzerland. Is Switzerland more towards like, I don't know where Switzerland is. I think is. Babe, I'm the wrong person to be asking this shit. I think Switzerland's up there with Russia. I think. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I'm not the Wait, best. Don't say, can we not say the hard word? Please. The R, oh, my bad, my bad. Please don't say the hard word. <laughs> we might get taken down. It's, it's going to be a political podcast. Not watch. even that. Don't even say the R word. Do you see the girl that recently got, I'm um, not. Oh, don't, 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 don't even don't, speak don't about even, it now. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't say the R word because they'll track us down. Don't yeah, do it. We're good. We're, we don't speak about that place. Anyway. Is it though? Oh shit! I think then we might not want to go there. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is why you stay in school, all right? Dude, I swear, learn about geography, geology. Oh, <gasps> Switzerland's in Europe. Oh my gosh, what do you think Russia is, Nat? What do you think Russia? Don't say is? the R word. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> how do you say? How do you say that word in Spanish or in, in another language? No, don't say it. It is, but they're not neighbors. Just the U word is the neighbor. The B word? Oh no. Belarus is a neighbor. Dude, I've never even heard of this. I want to go to Belgium. Nah, you have to <gasps> go to you Belgium. Did you know Finland is neighbors with them? Yeah, I did. How do you know this? We're Sweden. Next to Finland. <laughs> Norway. That's where I want to oh go. Oh my. Norway, Norway, Norway. That's where I want to go. Is that. We have to go to Norway and Iceland. To, oh, dude, yes. To see the, the green lights. What are they called? The Northern Lights. The Northern oh. Lights. So Imagine cute. us bringing you guys a vlog from the Northern Lights. That would be a dream. Wait. Switzerland's next to Germany. I didn't know that. And Rome and France For and All Italy? the history teachers right now, our history Italy? majors are laughing at us. Wait, babe. Did you know Italy is right next to him? Italy's next to Spain. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Oh, my gosh. See? This is Spain and this is Italy. Are you? Am I dumb? Yes. Oh, <gasps> bro, I've never been this bamboozled in my life. I literally thought Italy was right there. What? Huh, dude? Looking at a map is so crazy because it's like, how dumb can we be? You know, like how 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 is this a thing? Do you think like Europeans are smart too, or like do you think they're dumb like us? To, to know like the the North North America map. I think we're just the dumbest people. <laughs> Dude, we had it. We have it so easy. We have to like memorize what countries are on our side. Imagine them having to name all the countries on their side. They have way more countries they than us, right? Way more countries. <laughs> Wait, I never even realized that there, there's so many countries in one spot and we have like the entire, I mean, except for Canada and Mexico, but like pretty much the entire, th- it's only three of us. Yep. Right? Yeah. Am I, is, am nah, I right about that? There's more, but. Who? It goes from um, oh, Mexico. Oh, like, like all the bottom countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <gasps> Oh, my God. Well, let's just stop talking because I'm just, We're so dumb we're in just ge- geography. <laughs> we're just dumb. But, yeah, there's so many places where I want to go. And I think coming to Australia has really been like, wow. Like, yeah, we, we have to continue traveling because. An- another wow factor was the coffee here. Fucking bomb. But, 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 different, different, different. Because they don't really have syrups. They don't have, like, they have may- maybe one or two syrups, but they don't. They like, don't play the game where you have, like. A freaking peppermint macadamia nut, uh-uh. like marshmallow, s'more syrup, like all that shit. No, it's vanilla, caramel, and if you're lucky, hazelnut, and that's it. And I think that's why that's part of like the European culture that comes over here because I think in Europe it's not like that either. See, another reason. That's why, um, bro. That's why. Did um, you know they also don't have ice? Not going. Wait, who doesn't have ice? They don't serve you ice. Who? In Europe. You're lying. I'm not lying. On a hot sunny day, they're going to give you a, a, a bottle yes. of water, that, just a bottle of water. Yes. What about in a glass? They don't give you ice, Why don't babe? they give you ice? Why? They don't believe in ice. That's cap. I'm not lying. Call, call Daniela right now. No, Spain is different. Okay, then, like where in Europe? Like France? Like, uh, yeah. What's another place in, in Europe that's very famous? 
Italy, France. No, Spain, no, not Italy, not Germany. Spain, not Germany. What's the other place that everybody? London. London. Well, you, do you even know what country that's in? No, but they don't give your eyes. Think, 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 think. What country London is in? Nat. Who the London. hell colonized us? England. Yeah. That's not France. I mean, that's not that's not Europe. <laughs> I mean, no. wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Let me pull out the map. Wait, Jake, Jake, for real? Wait, wait, wait. Asia. Where even are they? In the we map? got Dora over here with her map, bruh. Babe, what? Where are they? Oh, they're an island. England's an island. So Europe. <laughs> it's in Europe, yes. <laughs> okay, so why are you making me feel dumb here? I asked you, do you know what country it is? England. Yeah, but you, I was, I was asking, what country is London in? Well, England, I said that. And you were like, uh, uh. Okay, but where's England? In Europe. <laughs> so why are you bitching with me? I was just wanting to quiz you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, so anyway, they don't serve you ice. So if you go, they're literally going to serve you coffee like this. Hot? I'll tell you to drink it. Who the hell is drinking a hot coffee? Hey, that's why. And that's why if you go and you ask for ice, they look at you like, or they probably won't even serve you because they're mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crazy. I heard that on um, TikTok and I didn't think it was true. And then I met people that have actually been and yeah, they're like, no, ice isn't a thing out there. Also, like it's always fucking hot because they don't really use ACs or any of that. So you're always just like, you would die. Don't even go. Ah, damn. Babe, I promise you, I'm not lying. You're making me not want to go to Europe now. Maybe not everywhere, but... Nah, Sydney's hot too, though. They have AC here, babe. Barely. That's blowing hot air. Those are fans, babe. That's uh, not AC. No. I Yeah, I think um, that's one of the reasons why I was like, no, nah, I'm not going there. And then I think like coming to Australia was like, okay, these people are actually really nice and they actually care to have us here. But it's like in Europe, they don't like you. Which, to be fair, they don't like you here either, but these people are nice. You want to talk about the 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 flight story? So you're you're doing something with a flight, right? And then the worker tries to fumble everything. Um, I think we could talk about that. No, let's just not. Really? I just hate some flight attendants. Like, like they don't see the bigger picture here. Like, why? And it, and it's just kind of like the dumbest thing in the world because, like, okay, we'll, we'll just I'll just talk about it, dude. So tell me, I'm literally on a flight. I'm filming for American Airlines. The best. The best airline. I'm filming for them. Like, I have to film. That's what I'm there for. It's to record the entire first class experience and, like, explain, you know, show everything. I'm working for American <laughs> Airlines. And she tells me, oh, I'm not sure if you know, but you can't be recording here. And I just look at her and I was like, oh, really? Like, I'm not going to argue. I, I'm not. <laughs> like, literally all the other flight attendants were like, oh, is this a real? Like, let's Oh, yeah, say they're, hi. they're like, so respectful, so happy. So like, nice. woo. So nice. It was like all the, basically every flight attendant except for her, right? There's always one person that has to fuck everything up. So, yeah, every, <laughs> super sweet. Like, the flight attendant let us on the plane. Like, she was um, servicing the... So, we were, like, in the first five seats, and she was servicing the back seat to that. So, I was like, fuck. But she was right there with us, and she came up to us, and she was, like, talking to us, and, like, she wanted to be in the vlog, and just so sweet, right? Such sweet people. Like, we've had pretty good experiences with that. But tell me fucking why. This girl tells me... And I'm, like... I, it's taking everything in me to not be like, girl, like, I'm here for work. Like, please just let me look. Also, it's not like someone complained. Nobody complained at all about the camera because she's not anybody. recording anyone else. It's like... So you're in a little pod and it just records me. Like, that, I'm the only person that comes out in that. And if somebody else comes out, I have to freaking... I, I just, bl like, cut it, crop it, whatever. So... And it's just like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I'm not even doing anything. And then she tells me, like, every time she comes, she's just, like, looking at the camera. Because I obviously don't stop filming. I can't stop filming. Like, I'm going to be in trouble. She's going to be in Everybody's going to be in trouble if I get off of this flight and I don't have what I need to have because it's a 14-hour flight. I'm there for a reason. Like, if I don't get the content, like, American Airlines is going to be upset, you know? Like, I'm, like, we put you on this flight to do something. You didn't do it. You're, you're in trouble, you know? So I need to film. Like, I'm sorry if you don't like it. So I kept filming, and every time she would come up, she would just, like, look at it, and I knew. I was like, I'm waiting for it to happen. Like, I'm sure she's going to tell me something else, but, like, and I can't, I don't even have Wi-Fi to pull up, like, my email to show her, like, I, I'm working with them. You know, like, I could just sound like I'm just saying a bunch of gibberish to her. So she, every time she comes, she's just, like, being a brat. Like, she came to um show me the menu, and I didn't understand half of the menu. So I was like, I didn't, I didn't really hear her, but I also didn't understand what she was saying. So I was like, what was the first thing again? And she was just like. Yeah, she would stare, because I asked the same stuff, and she was just staring at me. She just stared and, at me. Like, and she would reread it. But, like, with an 
attitude. And it's always the old ladies. I fucking swear it's always the old ladies. And I was just like, you know when you just know someone's not having a freaking, and it's because, let me tell you what it was. We're the first seat in a first class flight international. Like she probably thinks these idiots have either the rich parents just put them in here or B, there's some kind of wannabe influencer and they're here. That's exactly what I'm going to imagine. She was like, because she treated everybody else with respect. It was just us mm -hmm. because we were the youngest people there and she's old as hell. So like she probably didn't. It's just so rude because like all the people on the other sides, like the older people, she was being so nice to them. <laughs> what the fuck is the problem with me? It and we don't mess with anybody. Like we we go in our court. I'm there for to do something. Like that's my mission. I don't speak to anyone. I don't, I don't say like you know. I'm there for a reason, and then that's it. Jake is in the back, literally with his vision pros on. Like we don't bother anybody, and it's just so. I was like, oh my god. There's always always someone, and like. I didn't get like all the content that I wish that I could have gotten, which I'm literally, I'm going to sell that to American Airlines. Like, hey, I tried, but Miss Girl over here was really not, it, it just sucks when it's like, and they usually they're told like prior to you boarding the flight, like, hey, there's going to be somebody recording the, because that's what they did last time. And I didn't have any issues. Like last time everyone was just like, oh yeah. Like they knew that I was like doing that. So I don't know what the hell was going on, but yeah, that was like the worst thing. <laughs> it's because like, it's such a beautiful, but there was two of them. So it was. That girl, there was another girl, and the other one was so sweet. Like she kept coming back for me, and she was like, "You slept so good." And yeah, they asked me. They asked me how the vision pros were, and, and I was telling them all about it. And then uh, I was like, "You want to put it on?" She's like, "No, no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine." But she was, she was like, "It like, was the other girl, right?" Engaging in yeah, everything. Yeah, she was so sweet. She came up to me too. She asked me what camera I was like, just so sweet. At the end of the flight, I like we're young in first class. We're not supposed to be there technically. Okay, tell me at that, why at the end of the flight, she's like, "I know who you got." Oh, oh, she's like, uh, "I looked you guys up." I Did love you guys. She? Yeah, yeah. She's like, I looked you guys up. I love you guys. And then I was like, bruh. And I was like, uh, when we were leaving, walking out with Nat, I was like, I bet she's so disappointed. She probably thought we were like celebrity sons or daughters. <laughs> she finds out we're YouTubers. Yeah, she was so sweet. There was multiple ones because that's the one that was in the back that wanted to be in the real. And then the, the one in the front with the other mean girl. Like she yeah, was they so, were so they nice. Were so sweet. Yeah, uh -huh. such sweet people. It's just like it comes down to them being her being old as hell, us being young as hell, and she probably just didn't like the fact that we were up there. <laughs> yeah. Which, okay, got it. I can't afford it either. Like, shout out American <laughs> Airlines. I we could never we afford love that. American, dude. We could not afford that. <laughs> so I get it to an extent, but it was just, it was it was rude. Yeah, it was. But it, anyway. It was the best experience, though. I love yeah, that. Yeah, everything else. Dude, we had PJs. We had slippers. Like, we had everything we could ever ask for. Because we've had another business trip. Uh, I mean, a business class flight when we're going, where were we going? Vermont, I think. Or Massachusetts, right? But I was taking care of Thea the whole time. <laughs> what is there to take care of? She's asleep. You bug. No, she was trying to sleep on me, trying to uh, lay in the middle of the aisle. Like, she, she's uh, calm. She's so calm. She was asleep. You're bugging. She was asleep. <laughs> but she was trying to get up on the couch. and Oh, and I couldn't I couldn't extend my bed all the way for, like, the seven-hour flight, however long it was. Why are you being mean? Nah. She's just a baby. <laughs> and then that's on the other side, sound asleep, laid down I flat. had a BBL, bro. I couldn't lay <laughs> oh, down. Oh, you did? <laughs> that's why. And so I had to lay down the seat and then be on my freaking face because my BBL. <laughs> Back when no one knew, remember? Oh Dude, my god! Dude, there was so god. much stuff that we had to hide. I remember that flight. I like put my BBL pillow under my legs and I laid like that for the video. And then I fucking as soon as I dropped the camera, I threw that shit off and I because like, <laughs> we were hiding my BBL at the time. Oh my! Dude, god. hiding your BBL was a whole nother era. That was so hard. Like there's so much stuff that we had to cut in videos. Like at the end, though, at the end, that's when it was getting hard. At the end, I didn't care because I was about to drop the video, which is why there was like. That's why everyone got their their opinions on it. Like where? Uh, oh, she's not gonna tell us. She's not. She's hiding yeah, something from us. Yeah, because people are stupid. Like <laughs> I'm not even gonna get into that because people are dumb. Yeah. If you think I could get away with doing a BBL and not telling you guys? Dumb. And it's just because you wanted to start drama. Because beef so fucking for real. If I wanted to hide my BBL for longer, I would have. Mm -hmm. Like the only reason people found out was because I wanted them to find out. Yeah, you like, were letting p p uh, pictures of you like go out certain ways exactly like there was like a clip and um i think my vermont vlog where i turned around you can see my butt like if i didn't want that to be out there i would just cut it like it, it, people found out because i wanted them to find out like i had my bbl for months before people had even a clue like i had literally like 10 videos pre-filmed dude like no one had a fucking clue so when people tried to act like they played detective and they found out you didn't find out shit i let you find out <laughs> like i was ready to drop the video i wanted it to hype up and it did it blew up it was this huge hate train which 
literally dude and then boosted me crazy speaking about hate so i, po- I posted a picture of nat and someone was hating on it on the picture and they replied to my story and i replied back like i was they gassed on that they're saying like plastic and i'm like dude you're you're dumb it's not anything like that and i was like i looked at a profile picture she had like bushy eyebrows and i'm like but uh your caterpillar your caterpillar eyebrows or something like that i was gassing her right uh-huh. she changed her profile picture to like uh, the picture of the street or something like oh, like a no! different picture and then she's like uh at least my eyebrows aren't fake and then i'm like uh nothing wrong with your eyebrows being fake but it's not uh it's not okay to be a hater and then i text her that and then she unfollowed me whatever and then I'm this morning sure she did. This, this morning she texted me hey jake i'm sorry i didn't want to be a hater anymore like like telling me like i'm sorry pretty much but like why even hate in the first place I don't know what to tell, but dude, I don't even answer those people. Like if you so have to be like, if you're going to be like that, you're just getting restricted. Like, I'm not even going to argue with you. No one's ever going to see your comments again. I'm not going to see your comments again. Like, I'm just not arguing with you because. Or P- here's another thing that really irritates me when people are like, um, oh, don't don't forget. This is fake. Like, this is not realistic. My whole page is about my BB. <laughs> what are you talking about like trying to make it known even though it's already known dude like it, it's so i love when people respond to that and like shut up like literally <laughs> because it's like my whole page dude is literally about my bbl like my bbl video has millions of views because i wanted it to be out there and i want and i'm always like oh like i'm not gonna sell my bbl i'm gonna die my bbl is gonna die like da 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 da. i'm always making jokes about it but the moment i post a picture of myself and like i like how i look oh but don't forget guys this is fake and another thing is, it's so crazy how people change up. So we never told us, and I'm not going to give much detail, but we were going to a snow city, right? And we posted about us oh going to snow city and telling us, like, what stuff to do here. And then tell me why a person from that snow city was like, don't come here. It's too packed. You guys make it packed all the time. <laughs> uh, like, little do you know, this the snow city is getting funded because of tourism, like us, okay? So we're going to, we end up going there. We run into the girl. And she asked for a picture. And she asked for a picture. Like, being like... Our number it took one supporter. Everything in me to not say hell no, fuck you, but like, I just looked at her like, are you like I know who you are because I didn't respond to her, but I, I saw her like I knew who she was. And then do you remember if she tagged you in the photo or she didn't? I don't think she did. No, she didn't okay, tag she me in didn't. the photo. Uh-huh. She just has the photo, but she didn't tag. And like, it is so crazy because that's how it happens. People are so bold on the internet, and, and then, then in person they they're like your biggest supporter. It's so. So crazy. Yeah, when that happened, guys, I literally couldn't believe my eyes when I saw her. I was like, are, are you fucking kidding me right now? Yeah, because I was thinking about that because it doesn't make sense. Like, in real life, like, there's so much love, so much uh, positivity and uh, that spread out through us. And people come up to us and like, oh, my gosh, you guys make me happy mm-hmm. and all this and uh, this stuff. But there's never hate. And it, it makes like, sense. It makes sense because they switch up. And I'm like, dang, dang. It's so crazy. Or, like, whenever I see... Like, to me, like, if you're hating on me, but you don't follow me, like, that, that, you don't like me. That's cool. But if you're hating and you follow me, I just don't understand It's weird. That. Like, what side are you on? I don't understand that because if you don't like me, why do you keep up with me? It makes no sense in my head how how that correlates. Like, if I don't like somebody, I'm simply not going to follow them because I don't want to see them. I don't like them. I don't like who they are. I don't like the way they act. Like, I just don't like them. And that's fine. Mm-hmm. But I don't follow them. And these people follow us. It's repeated offenders. It's the point where, like... I, I'm just going to block you if I see that because I'm going to help you. I'm going to take you out of your misery and I'm just going to block you so you don't have to look at my stuff anymore. It's so weird. But yeah, when that stuff happened over there, I was like. I was I, I was it. bamboozled. I couldn't. We were in the it. car in shock for like five minutes. Remember? <laughs> yeah. We're like. It, it just it makes no sense to me. So next time to, you see a hate, we were comment, also trying to find that message, but we couldn't yeah, find it. Like next time you see a hate comment, like just know that these people either they they they're, they're really not like if they were to see you in person, I promise you they won't do that. Yeah, but anyways, we love Sydney. Sydney's the best. Sydney's the best. We're headed to Brisbane. I'm so we're excited to go visit what we have over there. Oh my gosh, we have stuff. Twenty minutes to pack, Jake Macias. Yep, that's what I was gonna oh go. My gosh. We're gonna wrap up this podcast because we have a whole bunch of mess and we have to pack it because we're gonna get kicked out of our hotel. But if you guys enjoyed this podcast, don't forget to like and subscribe. We are so close to 150k subscribers on the podcast, so please get us there ASAP. Thank you so much for watching this episode, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.